uh, Wesley's uh, mistakes, it is Brother Sister Ronnie. Because she allows Brother Wes to interfere with the peace that it is in her heart. That's right. And at the end of the day, who's going to suffer? Is it Brother Wes? Nope. No. It is Brother Sister Ronnie. Although I'm going to chastise Wes later. <laughs> because at the end of the day, we we'll say, hey, Wes, Brother Wes, come on. You know better. The back stops on you. I will tell him that. But at, but at that instant, without knowing it, it is Sister Ronnie's fault. Because she allows the anger interfere in her peaceable heart. <laughs> That's right. Hallelujah. In Isaiah chapter 1, verse 17. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 17. Says here, learn to do well. Seek judgment. You know, sometimes. When we know a thing, we think we are highly enough of ourselves that we are, you know, as if we don't seek any judgment at all. That is true, once in a while. But, you know, there is a reason why we have elders to know this stuff. Otherwise, you cannot be your own pastor. Can you be your own pastor? No. Otherwise, I, uh, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11 should not have been written. It should be Ephesians 4.10 and then goes to 4.12. No 4.11. If everybody can be their own pastor. Just like this. If I want to go to Washington, D.C. and Brother West knows the road, am I going to ask Brother Stanley who's just driving in New Orleans? No. No, I can't. Why? Because I'm seeking full judgment. Am I seeking good advice? No. Seek those who've been there already. That's a wise counsel. Yeah. Just like when uh, Brother Ken's about to, you know, a week before the marriage, we counsel him, hey, Brother, Brother Ken, this is not da, da 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 And he just listening to the advice. Yeah. And who is advising him? It's not Brother, Brother Stanley. <laughs> it's not Brother Gavin. <laughs> it is me because what? I've been married for 25 years. At one way or the other, I know something. I am not saying that I know, I know enough, but I know something. And to those women, if you seek judgment, wise counsel for marriage life, ask Mama Eloise. Because if Mama Eloise still the wife of Uncle PJ for 52 more years, she knows something. She knows a lot, not only something, a lot. Again, it is our choice, isn't it? Yes. Yes. To seek wise counsel or not. Don't be like your bone who seek the advice of his, you know, peers. It's like you young folks. You think you know a lot. Academically, my, my, my son knows more than me, probably. That is the word probably still in there. <laughs> but in terms of life, uh -huh. ain't. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Reprove the oppressor. Ooh. Reprove it. That's why it says prove all things. Oh, Don't just believe in it. Prove. Especially if it is oppressing somebody that is not right. Defend the fatherless. Isn't Timothy, uh, isn't Saul wrote to Timothy about the true religion? Yes. James. James chapter 1 verse 27. Visit the fatherless in their time of need. And keep yourself unspotted. You see, our Father is telling you to do these things, but don't forget yourself. 
Because Saul said, I'm preaching you the good news, but I'm also preaching it to myself. Because what? I don't want to be canceled. Yes. Hallelujah. As we are telling you, every day or every time that we preach, this word has been preached to, preached to us already. Yes, sir. We have the double portion of preaching. Yes. And that's what thankful of it. But not everybody can, you know, can somebody be in stock? No, if you are not being sent, yeah. mm -mm. you're not worthy. Plead for the widow. Are we doing that right now? We might don't have that opportunity yet, but if it comes, do what is right. In chapter 55, verse 7, the same book. Let the wicked forsake his way. And the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto Father Yah. Let him return unto Father Yah. And what will happen? He will have mercy upon him. Yes. Our fathers are merciful. Oh. He is full of mercy. Yes. And we, we even hear the word, read the word, his mercy is renewed every morning. Every morning. So when you see the morning with your eyes open and see your wife next to you, your husband next to you, your children make the breakfast. That is living. Hallelujah. It's like this morning. Our children made the breakfast. Hallelujah. Yes, indeed. And my wife just all we do is just, you know, have my coffee. Hallelujah. That is a blessing. Yes. In little things, we should be thankful. Yes. Because it is written, if you can be trusted with little things on this earth, Woo! I will give you more oh. in heaven. Yes. But if we cannot be trusted, just like, Father, you give us a little thing, a little financial thing. And most of the time, you forgot him. And you're asking more. Really? If he cannot trust you with $10,000, how is he going to trust you with a million? You are going to ruin yourself. These little things that happen to us every day, we can choose to live or to die if we have that sound mind that we're talking a while ago. In Romans, let's go to what you call, what they call the New Testament, and I will say it is the renewed covenant. Come on, in, if we, in, in Romans chapter 8, verse 13, you know, way back then, me and Brother Stanley is going to get hurried in finding the verse of the Bible in a Bible, but since he has that high-tech cell phone. All he have to do is press it. And he can be there quick. In Romans chapter 8, verse 13, it says here, For if you live after the flesh, then sometimes we choose to live after our flesh every day. You know, if the tribulation comes in our life and we will be the one chosen to go in that tribulation, but if we are going to think of our fleshly life here on earth, well, we will not be worthy. Because our human instinct is to preserve this life. That's right. You don't, nobody can argue with that. That is your human instinct. We call it animal instinct. Because even the animals is going to do that. I, I see it in my eyes when Pastor Isaac tried to, just like, he's not, he's not going to kill it, but the, the possum thing is going to be killed. 
Right, Pastor Lisa? In the book of Luke? Yes. He's going to defend that life, no matter what. No matter how big you are or how small you are. The same thing here. If we are trying to appease this flesh, you are going to die. Well, You see, that's why the word that is written, it says, if you are going to save this life of yours, you're going to lose it. But if you're going to lose this life for him, you are gaining it. You will have the life everlasting. Again, so what will you choose? To live in this earth, probably 70, 80, or 90. Take it a bonus. And you're going to have this life here, be replaced with the life eternal? Will is your sanity. But because we're only thinking about this life here on earth, that's why we think like that. But it should not be the case. We've been bombarding you with so many words from Amadea that, hey, this earth is prepared for fire. If it, will not, if it doesn't come to your senses yet, it should be now because tomorrow that will be gone. But if by the Spirit, through, but if ye through the Spirit, you mortify the deeds of the body, you shall live. You shall live. Again, we have the power to kill that fleshly mind. Yes. The carnality of it. It's not this flesh physical thing. No, that's not what it's talking about here. Apostle is not talking about this fleshly thing. It is the fleshly here. That's right. Because everything this flesh do comes from here. Come on, boy. And we have that power. So again, at the end of the day, we choose between flesh or the spirit. And Ephesians chapter 4, verse 22. Go to Ephesians. Let us hear what Apostle Saul said to the Ephesians, to the people of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 22. That you, that you put off concerning the former self, come on. Come on. the old man, right. Right. which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust of your neighbors. Is that what it says? No. Your own deceitful no. lust. No. We were there before. Yeah. That is our life. We were, whether we accept it or not. Uh -huh. wow. But praise Father, yeah. He manifested himself to us. Yeah. Now we are living on this other side. Oh, yeah. wow. Thank you, sir. But as our pastor said, sometimes that old life brought up sprung once in a while. And it's up to us if we are going to entertain that moment to choose between life or death. 